Hey there, let me show you how to mix Afrobeat vocals step by step in FL Studio using only stock plugins. So right here we have our project and the first thing we're going to do is set the tempo and also know our key and scale. So to know our tempo is real easy even though it's already shown right here in the beat. You're just going to double click on the beat, then right click, come to detect tempo. Most beats will typically be between 75 to 150 and then you simply click that and then click set to the number and just to be sure that it's correct. You turn on the metronome and then you listen. Yeah. Perfect. So we have that matching. Okay. Then the next thing we need to do is set the key and scale because we, when we have a tuning plugin, that will be important. Now, if you don't know how to find the key and scale, like it's denoted right here in the beat, you can use a free website like tunebuzz.com forward slash analyzer. We have to just upload your beats and it will tell you the key and scale. So I'll double click this and then link this to my mixer. Then come right here again link this to my mixer now i'm going to be using my vocal presets don't worry even if you don't have it you can still follow along and learn a lot now there are two ways you can use the vocal preset you can either use the vocal chain by dragging and dropping it or you can build your own chain by coming to the bunch of presets in here for example the compression vocal level that is right here for stock plugin to compress the vocal then eq you can build your own chain if you want to use mine although either one is fine you're going to get good results regardless so let's come to the very first, which is tuning. I like to tune my vocals first. So I can come to tuning and there are different tuning presets. So let's use one for stock plugins. We have light tuning and heavy tuning. So let's use heavy tuning and then set the key and scale minor, then D. Then we're listening. Now, if you feel like it's too much, you can either use the light tuning or just simply relax it, maybe closer to medium. Either one is fine. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. It's too complicated now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. Now, the next we're going to do is remove noise in the vocal because if I solo it, way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. You can hear like AC noise and you know background noise in the vocal, and it's important you take this out so that when we start applying dynamic effects and processing doesn't exaggerate it so i'm going to come right here to restoration and i'll be using the noise removal stock plugin and i'll just drop it right here and how i use this is really simple you simply adjust the threshold depending on how much noise you want to take out if i press play way before you came i was hello 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 if not it's chopping out some of the vocals because this is a gate so you have to be careful so i'll relax the threshold a little bit way before you came i was hello 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 it's too complicated now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. If I turn it off. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. When it's on. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. So next we're going to do is compress the vocals. I'm going to come to compression, come to come to vocal leveler, stock. Anyone that has stock basically means stock plugins, okay? And this is real easy to use. If you feel like your vocals is over compressed, simply adjust the threshold to suit your taste. So let's hear how it sounds. Okay. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. It's too complicated now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow. So I like the, the vocal compression level. Let's turn on the beats. We don't want to do this in solo for too long. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. It's too complicated now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow, follow, follow. And then let's add EQ. So I'm going to come right here to the EQ and then let's remove resonance from the vocal. So Rezo Blaster, the stock. And then we're listening. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. It's too complicated now. You can already hear how much smoother the vocal sounds, right? So I'm going to reduce the volume of the beats a little bit. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. It's too complicated now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow, follow, follow. It's too complicated now, I'm alright. So next, what we're going to do is come to compression again. I want to have like a serial processing, so I'm going to come to crisp. Now, this is totally optional. You don't have to do a, a multi-level compression or a serial compression, but this can help make your vocals sound a bit more interesting. So I'm going to come right here to multi crisp. This will make our vocals a bit brighter. This is basically a multi-band compressor. It just makes the vocal brighter while also controlling the high end. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. It's 
to complicate now I'm alright, alright, I'm fine All I gotta do is follow, follow, follow Used to complicate now I'm alright And to control this is also easy, just simply come to the high band and adjust the gain If you want it brighter, you can increase it, if you want it, you know, less bright, you can reduce it So next we're going to do is come to EQ again, to just, just to do some final polish of the vocal So I'm going to come to crisp vocal stock then drop it right here Way before you came, I was hello, hello. but I don't want it to be that bright so I can reduce it Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. used to complicate now I'm alright alright I'm fine all I gotta do is follow 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 that's sounding good now let's make it a bit more stereo so I'm going to come to special and I'm going to come to wild and white and silky I'm going to drop it right here and if you want to be more stereo, you can increase the mix. You can hear that it sounding pretty good. So all of these presets I've been baked in with my settings I've been mixing for years. And you can really get some good mixes with stock plugins. So all of these presets have been fine-tuned to make it as easy as possible and save you as much time to get really good mix. Or have to just maybe dial a few buttons if you even need to so that it really fits your project. Okay. Let's add some reverb and delay. Okay. So to do that, it's easy. Instead of just coming to you know creating a send, creating all of that, just come to your sends, come to reverb, send, just drop on an empty insert. It's really that simple. Let's also do the same for delay and um, stock as well. So we have that. And then after this, just come right here to my lead vocal and send it into the delay. I mean, send it to the reverb. Way before you came out. If you want more reverb, you can increase this fader. Way before you came out. Hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now. I'm all right, all right, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow. Then if I want more delay, I can send it in here as well. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now I'm alright. And if I want more delay again, I can increase this. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. And the good thing with this preset is that it's already side chain, so it won't drown your vocals. If I turn up the beat, we hear much more controlled the delay sounds. Okay. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate, now I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. Oh. So you can hear that very controlled, you know, leaving you with a clean mix. And we can add a parallel comp. Now, these mixing presets can be as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. The aim is for you to save you time and give you high quality results, okay? So I'm going to come right here to parallel comp, that is for stock. And I can send my vocals in here. And then just blend it as much as I want. So all parallel compression is simply just taking your main vocal, sending it into a compressor that is, you know, with the settings exaggerated. It will crush your vocal and it's going to make it sound a little bit thicker, okay? So we start a lot in modern mixes. It's not always necessary, but it does make your mix sound more interesting sometimes. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now, I'm alright. Better turn it off. Way before you came, I was hello. And here it kind of like falls into the background when it's not on, but when it's on. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow, follow, follow. It's more in your face, right? The mix sound like it's more upfront, more in your face. And that's just pretty much what parallel compression does. So let's hear the before and after of this mix to see if it sounds better. So this is without processing. Of course, I'll gain stage so that it sounds the same level so that you can hear the real difference. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow, follow. Used to complicate now, I'm alright. Yeah, you know I was jealous. Coming out from the money. Yeah, you know I was jealous. Ah, coming out from the money. 
and this is how it sounds when the effects are turned on. Way before you came, I was hello, hello, hello. Used to complicate now, I'm alright, alright, I'm fine. All I gotta do is follow, follow, follow. Used to complicate now, I'm alright. Yeah, you know. And that's pretty much it. So if you want to get this preset, just click the link in the description or visit our website, sctutorial.com, and you see the vocal mixing presets. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. Cheers.